I've been holding off on doing this video for a while just because I hate this champion so much. I hate Helicap. I just he's like my most hated champion in all of Raid Shadow Legends. I would honestly probably ban him over Armands right now. Like I he's just the most annoying champion in the game to me. He's got his A1, which hits hard. It's a two-hitter, ignores shield and block damage, also places a weaken. His A2 is going to be an AoE that places a shield on all allies, and it hits hard, and the shield is proportional to this champion's defense. He's a base, he's a he's a defense-based nuker. And that makes him really tanky. On top of this right here, his A3, which places a block damage buff on all allies for two turns and whenever a block damage buff is placed on an ally by this champion or whenever it's removed stolen or expires so if anything happens to the shield they get an increase 60 percent the big version of increased defense on that ally but i think the most annoying thing here is the fact that anytime an ally is hit while under block damage helicap is going to counter attack with his a1 and that's annoying. One, it takes up a lot of time. Two, you end up getting smacked across the face. Like, he just swipes away, cutting swaths through your entire team. And it's extremely annoying to have to, to, to watch happen. Increases the champion's defense for each ally under block damage debuff. Or block damage buff. Needless to say, if you haven't met this guy yet, he's an absolute dick. I hate this guy so much. And I've, I've had him for quite some time. I just haven't built him. Like, I, re I absolutely refuse to use this guy. I mean, I'll use him right now for the video, but just, just to talk about it, and yeah. Uh, and then he's got his increased defense aura as well. This is how I have him built. I have seen people put him in protection gear. I've seen people put him in stone skin. Those are all really annoying. I've seen people do uh, savage and lethal so that he could smack. So what I wanted to do for this showcase was to build him to do damage. And I just, I just hate his face. Look at him. Look at this guy. Just makes me angry to see. And he doesn't even have any feet. Look at him. Can you see this? He does not have any feet. Stilettos over here. Anyway, he's in uh, swift parry, so he's got to increase the speed, crit damage, and a fifty percent chance to place unkillable whenever hit with a fatal hit. I thought this was quite annoying as well. The reason I didn't put him in stone skin or per, uh, protection, uh, if you have him in stone skin, obviously. He can't have any this 50-50 chance for any buffs or debuffs, sorry, debuffs to be placed on him. And it's also like hitting a rock wall. If you have protection, then all the buffs that he places are protected and can't be removed. So something like the block damage buff that he places, which is like a calling card for him, would be protected. That would be annoying, but I just don't have the gear to spare right now for him. These are the masteries that I have. I had to redo them because I just had some weird masteries on him. In fact, these masteries are, are weird as well. I went down the offense tree, focusing mostly on damage. If I could have, I should have redone this. I'm not going to pay more gems, though. Uh, I do like the res. This is okay. I would have liked to go over here to increase the value of the shield that he receives, taking Resurgent, damage mitigation here, and then counterattack as well. But, I mean, this is okay, I, I, I guess. Anyway... Let's go ahead and take him into Arena and see what we can do with him. So, something you could do is put him in a go second team. Um, we're going to get outsped here. But, you know, I should have put UDK in here. Yeah, UDK would have been great. And so now we're going to get the block damage buff. I wonder how this is going to work against Armands. If he even survives this. So right here, you see, every time anybody attacks anybody on my team with a block um, damage buff, he's going to counterattack. So I got to ask you guys, are there any Helicath abusers out there? Because sometimes I go into Live Arena and I go up against a Helicath with a UDK and even a Mortu Macabre sometimes. Let's go in here and let's see what we can do. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go first with Arbiter. Let's take off their buffs. I mean, we tried to, but if it doesn't work, let's place this. Hopefully... Nobody tries to take away our buffs here. And... Okay, so Sun Wukong is down. And as you can see right here, we were able to counterattack there. Let's place block buffs. He's about to go. 
unless we're able to smack with the shield first, his A2. So he's a decent, I'd say he's like a, a pretty decent um, damage dealer as well. So if you guys have him, let me know how you're building him. I hate him, so even though I, I have him, I'm not going to use him after this video. Maybe it's the trauma. So we go first, and then we're going to place our debuffs with Madame Ceres. And then we're going to place our, um, what do you call it? Block damage buff. So now anytime any of them try to attack us, anybody on my team, we're going to go ahead and just counterattack with Helicath. And it's a pretty slow way, a slow painstaking way to die. Let's not do that. And this AoE move smacks. Let's go ahead and go again against Leo. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like all of the... What do you call it? All the bad memories I've had of Helicat. See? Look at that. That's happened to me before too. Again, when I've used Rodos. Look, see what's going on right now? That's really annoying. Look at this. Dead. Look at this. Dead. Let's go again. So we go first. I should actually change it up here. Place the decreased defense. And let's let's actually just smack. Let's just smack right now and see what happens. Boom. No shield up this time. Okay, now we get the shield up this time. You could even build a team centered around just being absolutely annoying so you could go in with ally res increase or you could even go with like udk to make him even more tankier and hit harder as well so let's try that i guess you could not more tankier but you could just make him tankier and he could hit harder as well got the block damage and now we're going to counter attack and this is going to be a slow burn team like, it's just, it's just meant to take up time. Like, you could... I guess with Narcissus involved, you wouldn't really worry. Because doesn't Narcissus hit through shields and block damage? I was thinking about, like, plat pushing. Trying to go up against somebody with Helicath. If they place this up, it just takes forever. And then him paired with UDK is just terrible. <laughs> I mean, look. Every time they hit anybody, they try to aim at anybody, they end up hitting UDK. And if he's got the block damage up, and he usually does... Because he's going very slowly. Um, Telecath will counterattack. It's funny. Boom, and Leo's dead. I'd say this is like a pretty decent defense team. Does Narcis hit through block damage? I don't have him, so I don't know. Boom. And you know, him hitting through shields is just nasty. Yeah, I would hate to go up against this team in something like Live Arena or Plat. Look at this Leo wearing Swift Parry. Did you guys know that? If you put Leo in Swift Parry, his un his passive is going to proc, and then if you try to kill him again, he can actually proc a Swift Parry. On top of that, that's like back-to-back -back unkillables. Obviously, Helicath can help you out in the dungeons, but most importantly, I do know that there's compositions out there that include Helicath. Like, there's unkillable teams out there with Helicath. I think there's one with um, Helicath and Doom Priest. So if you're looking for an unkillable team, and you haven't had one yet, or you haven't found one yet, but you have Helicath, and maybe you have Doom Priest, I'd consider looking up uh, something on Deadwood Jedi's website. With the introduction of a lot of the newer champions, Sun Wukong, Armands, as well as Narcis, I don't know if he's actually that much of a problem anymore. Now that I actually think about it, because like my mindset is coming from like way back, I guess, when he first came out, and I just couldn't avoid the guy. And I actually think there was a Doom Tower boss a while back that actually used Helicath. I think because of his A1 placing... I think it was Bommel, right? If you wanted to speedrun Bommel, I think YST came out with a team where he used... Um, I think it was like a double ally attack team using Helicath and then placing a bunch of bombs. So maybe my mindset that I've had for him has been shifted a little bit now that I've actually tried him. <laughs> Not that I think he's like somebody I want to start using in my arena teams because I already have my set arena teams that are doing pretty well, but I could see me busting Helicath out uh, every now and then for maybe like live arena. He does a, a decent amount of damage. I mean, his ability to ignore 
shield and block damage is pretty cool in and of itself. He brings a lot to the pot. But outside of Arena and Live Arena, and probably outside of Clan Boss, where else are you guys using him? I don't know what the word is, but the, the concepts that I had for him are probably outdated. Because when did Helicath come out? This is pretty cool. Yeah, so June 9th of 2022 was when Helicath was fused, or was a, a fusion available to us. But let me know, do you guys use him? How do you guys use him? Helicath and UDK together, absolutely toxic.